Hi, I'm Carrie Knight, and I'm going to be doing a general reading for Pisces. Pisces, this reading is for you. If you're a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces Venus, Pisces Rising, then this reading could resonate to you. So let's see the energy surrounding you first. My Piscean. Okay. You have the Hierophant Taurus energy. Uh, either you're devoted, you're committed, and you're negative. You could be wearing a mask, and this mask could be hiding your feelings or emotions in a negative. But in the upright position, either you're devoted, committed to your partner, to people, places, or things. So, maybe some of you are married. Maybe some of you are religious. And some of you are Catholic, Christian. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius woman could be dealing with these zodiacs if they don't have it in your natal chart. If not, then, then Queen of Wands represents a woman who's inspirational inspires as, aspires others um her movements her actions she has a lot of passion so she gets moody and angry easily um either she's a businesswoman entrepreneur social light or social butterfly or maybe a practical witch but you know all the queens are nurturing and all the kings are logical in different forms in different ways you have the two of swords. Sword represents your thoughts. Sword represents your communication. So two of swords. Two represents a numerology, partnerships, balancing, juggling, and decision making. Either you got to do one of those things that I mentioned with the two of swords or you're being indecisive. Some of you may not be indecisive. Some of you Pisces could be having psychic intuition and going within. Now let's confirm why Pisces has the higher friend. Are you spiritual? Are you religious? Pisces, you have the Nine of Pentacles, Happiness, Venus, and Virgo. And you have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. Uh, okay, I feel like some of you, because the Queen of Pentacles is nurturing, but she takes care of the money, the business, the home, the husband, and the kids. And in her negative form, she could be very needy, controlling, um, you know, a needy, clingy, you know, mother, overprotective mother. Um, but it's also about your happiness. So I feel like some of you Pisces are a woman or a mother, and you could be overprotective here. But I feel like you're dealing with another woman or mother who could be clingy here. I also feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, this is about harvesting and saving your money and letting certain people inside your home, in your garden. And, you know, you, you could be wearing a mask. And you could be devoted to a lot of people. But I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, I don't want to drag this whole reading on one card. Uh, I feel like this is about, you know, protecting yourself and your money, your love, and your health here. Again, some of you could be married, some of you could be happy, some of you could be gaining a lot of money or saving a lot of money, Pisces. Show me why the Queen of Wands is here in the Pisces reading. We have the healing secrets, either your intuition or your subconscious or you're discovering things, maybe from tarot. Maybe you go to a tarot reader, maybe a witch or a tarot person came to you here. Tarot, Queen of Wands, maybe they have a business or you want to do a business here in the near future you could be networking and hoping that things go well can we confirm why is the um high priestess is here so you have the moon hidden agenda secrets relationship king of cups okay so there's a secret relationship either you're being secretive pisces about a man that you're dating or the man could be you know secretive about you know dating you Having you on the low, secret partner, Ten of Cups, hmm, interesting. Two of Swords, what is the decision that Pisces needs to make? Or maybe some of you fantasize about having another partner. Or, you know, you could be fantasizing the moon. You could be fantasizing about having another partner sexually if you didn't do it physically. 
feel like someone is you you dream about this person and then you have the seven of wands you're guarding yourself or protecting your heart from being betrayed or broken or lost i feel like some of you are torn between your losses and being protective here why pisces what what did pisces lose what are they separated from the six of wands came out and fell so you probably lost something or you recognizing your losses you're paying attention to your losses you recognize it ace of wands is very that's a very strong lustful Lustful is a sexual energy or a passionate energy with the Ace of Wands. And I feel like you're protecting yourself from not being a hoe and then getting brokenhearted. Show me the three of, the seven of wands. Oh, Lord. Four of wands. Some of you could be in a relationship or finding out about a relationship or finding out about a marriage or a relationship that someone else has. And you could be on the defense with the four of wands. <laughs> And seven of wands. And these wands represent actions, Aries energy with the four of wands, and Leo energy with the seven of wands. So someone could be acting passive aggressive, or you could be acting passive aggressive towards someone and they don't know why. And because you found out information about someone else or fucking somebody else, and you found out about this person with had a rendezvous, or is their baby mother or baby father, the ten of pentacles, and they had a rendezvous and they were fucking, and now you indecisive about blowing them up or just cutting them off without telling them <laughs> now this is gonna not resonate to every pisces maybe a pisces man is going through this or a pisces woman but um let's see your money and finances what's happening for pisces when it comes to money and finances either you're getting a new job or you're getting a promotion ace of coins um yeah some of you could be moving to a new job physically or moving up the ladder Eight of Wands, change and movement, sudden movement happen very fast. Sun card, you can seem very happy, maybe in the summer or springtime. Some of you got a new job or promotion, and you're very happy about that. All right, Pisces, I'm Kira Knight, and I'm signing out. Peace out, world.